Hello, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I said last time I wasn't sure whether I was going to do this week's monastery stuff and then start the mission or not, but I suspect the answer is not because it turns out we have a whole bunch of supports that we unlocked, so I guess we're just going to do that first. Marianne, please accept my apologies for my behavior yesterday. I'm not sure what you mean. Asking you about your family like that was pretty insensitive of me. No matter how curious I am, that's no way to treat someone. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You weren't being insensitive. I just didn't want to talk about it. I don't spend much time talking about myself. Not to people, anyway. If not people, then with who? Fun people? Non-people? <laughs> well, yes. I'm much more comfortable talking to anyone who isn't a person. I was actually joking, but now I'm mystified. Who is it you like to talk to? Dorte the horse. Ah, of course. Good old Dorte. <laughs> I understand what you tell him. The look we on Claude's face. He tells me when he's sleepy, or when his stomach hurts, or if his nose itches. Sounds like a complainer, that Dorte. But let's table this fascinating discussion for just a moment. Now that we've gotten in some small talk, I'd like to know what you're hiding. You are <laughs> what? Hiding, right? Your lineage, perhaps? Uh, no. Oh, if I'd... I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If it's all just idle gossip, that's fine too. But if it's something silly like, my ancestors were cursed, therefore I'm cursed, <laughs> you should know that I won't accept that nonsense. That sort of thinking is stupid, and that's all there is to it. Say your ancestors were thieves. Does that make you a thief, even if you've never stolen a thing? Of course not. But people have burdens to bear from the moment they're born. My burdens are so big that I... I'm sorry, I can't discuss this anymore. People certainly are born with burdens. She's right about that. But Marianne, don't you know that you can choose not to carry them? Hmm, not in all cases, Claude. Not in all cases. Ah, oh, so hungry. I gotta eat something. Again, Raphael? Here, perhaps this will suffice. Really? I can have this? But don't you need to eat after all that training? We can't have you starving, can we? Your strength is a great asset. It would be a terrible loss if you fell faint in battle. Besides, no true noble can look upon the hungry with indifference. S seriously? Wow, that's awful generous of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. But listen while you eat. I believe it would benefit you to pay more attention to the way you carry yourself in the company of your betters. Oh god. It is the duty of the nobility to protect the common folk. And, in return, the commoner is expected to show deference and respect. Naturally, I understand that there is a certain tendency toward familiarity because we are classmates. However... <laughs> Raphael's like, I don't give a crap what you're saying, Lorenz. <laughs> Raphael, did you hear a word I just said? Oh, hey! I sent my little sis some of that fancy treat you gave me a while back. She wrote back to say that it was tasty and to thank you. So thanks. That is excellent news. I'm pleased to hear that you both enjoyed it. But there's no need for you to thank me. It was actually a gesture of gratitude in the other direction, from me to you. Thanks to the wisdom of your words, I have begun to consider my approach to dining in a completely new way. Mealtime has proven to be ideal for the study of character. It is a tool I intend to make great use of as the leader of the Alliance. Leader of the Alliance? Yep. It's just like I told you. Food tastes better when you eat with good company. That's not quite what I meant. <laughs> no matter. You are satisfied, I trust? I could probably keep eating, but I'm ready to train. All right. Time to get back to it so I can protect my buddy, Lawrence. <laughs> I've not quite gotten through to you, have I? It is not the duty of a commoner to protect a noble. <laughs> that is fundamentally against the order of society. But... If you hadn't given me food just now, 
I couldn't survive on the battlefield because I'd be too weak to train. Who'd take care of my little sis if I wasn't around? She'd probably end up starving to death as well. In a way, by feeding me, you're protecting her too. It was only a little food. There's no need to get carried away. You're a real decent noble, you know that? Oh, he isn't. <laughs> worrying so much about my sister and all. All I gotta do is protect you. Then you protect everyone else, right? I'm not certain your logic is sound, but your strength is undeniable. Very well. Do as you like. Dining certainly is a window to the soul. Eating with you has helped me to see that I've misjudged you. You're not some gluttonous simpleton. You are grateful for the protection the nobility offers, and eager to emulate our example. Uh-huh. <laughs> I want to know about, like, the whole, like, when I'm leader of the Alliance thing. Uh, that, it kind of seems like they buried the lead here. Picking wildflowers? seems such a common activity for someone like you. To me, the most beautiful flower is the one that blossoms by its own strength. Lysithia, please accept this as... Knock it off! Uh, sorry. It's just that the thorns are a bit sharp, and I'm not a fan of killing nature. True sympathy, even for the smallest wildflower. I admire your kindness. When you inherit your house, that kindness will be a balm to your subjects. They and the neighboring lords will trust you instinctively. Politics. Again. The Alliance has been harmed in the past by lords who thought only of themselves, who saw others as a means to an end. But you! You understand others' pain. With you around, I am quite hopeful that the Alliance will flourish again. That's not something you should get your hopes up about. House Ordelia will end with my father. I'm sorry? I understand you have a distaste for politics, but could you really allow a noble house three centuries old to fall to ruin? This goes beyond you and even your house. What would become of Fodlin if all its noble houses withered away in such a manner? Probably it would, would be, be fine. <laughs> the balance of power would crumble. Chaos would rule. No, it's just... My body, unfortunately, is not built to last, and I have no siblings. When I die, that's the end. What? Noble birth has been nothing but a source of pain for me. For me, and for my parents. We got sucked into the rebellion in the Empire, and it led to... many responsibilities for us. The things we went through. I can hardly bear to speak of it. All I want now is to give my mother and father the chance to live out their years in peace. I intend to do whatever I can to ease the hardships of our people while I still have life left in me. Naturally, I worry about what will come to pass after I'm gone. But I'm sure things will work out, so long as there are people like you around working so hard for a better future. So you have been thinking of the future, even despite all of that. I... I am so sorry, I had no idea. Lysithia, I have offended you most persistently. Please find it in your heart to forgive my impudence. Don't worry about it. If you're so insistent upon being my friend, I'm sure more tasty snacks and tea will help persuade me. But if speaking of the future holds such importance, better to find someone who actually has one. I understand. Yes, let's take tea together again soon. Involved in the rebellion against the Empire, huh? Well, that... might explain some things. Hopefully we'll learn more about that at some point. Yet another lovely day. On such a fine day as this, it would certainly be nice to go for a stroll with someone. I wonder if anyone is around. Oh my, such awful noises. Who, or rather, what is making those sounds? Huh? Oh, hello, Flame. Ah! 
What, really? M my apologies. I feel a bit better now. Oh, you scared me. You nearly knocked me over with that scream. Well, you startled me. Appearing out of nowhere and making such sounds? What is it you are doing here anyway? I'm just out here using logs to train. Wow. Are you really capable of lifting something so massive, Raphael? Of course. Wanna see? See? Told you I could do it. That was magnificent. <laughs> do you suppose I could give it a try as well? No. Hmm. It might be a bit too much for your tiny arms. Tiny or no, I want to be stronger. Do you have any tips for someone both willing and eager to grow? It's probably best to start by practicing your battle cry. What? If you let out a good shout, you'll feel even more powerful. Uh, you are a font of knowledge. <laughs> you apply your wisdom and show me by example. No problem. Just follow my lead. Is she gonna faint again? Oh, never mind. Oh my god. How did I fare? Do I look stronger now? Um. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. I knew this would help. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Hello, Hilda. What's the matter? Oh, it's just that I'm looking for a book. I can't seem to find it anywhere. I think it might be on one of the high shelves. Could you give me a hand? Ah, uh, um, I'm really sorry, but actually... Hmm? Some people got hurt while training in magic. I'm rushing to grab some medical supplies. Whoa, that sounds serious. Don't let me stop you in that case. Thanks. I'll be right back. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, what was the book you were looking for? Is everyone okay? Yes, it turned out to just be some scrapes and bruises. Oh, is that the book? Yes, I went and grabbed a ladder. That made the book much easier to find. Oh. Uh. Huh. You could have just asked someone else for their help. Well, you said people were hurt, so I just figured everyone had more important things to do. Honestly, I don't love heights. It was a bit scary up there, but here we are. I managed. I see. Well, I'm sorry I couldn't help. Why are you apologizing, silly? Surely first aid is more important. I thought you might wait for me to come back, that's all. Oh, but giving first aid, that's not an easy job. I figured you'd be worn out. The last thing I want is to push you too hard. That's thoughtful of you, Hilda. Thanks for watching out for me. Oh, don't mention it. Do my <laughs> What? <laughs> you did such a lovely job last time. The floor was practically sparkling. I swear the air even tasted cleaner. I'm glad you liked it. You're really good at giving compliments, you know that? I suppose that's why everyone's so eager to help you with things. Exactly. By heaping praise on people, they're more eager to help me in the future. Oh, but that's not what's happening here. I was really, truly impressed by your cleaning skills. I wish I had everything figured out like you. <laughs> well, that was an extremely contrived situation, but... It's like, oh, look, Hilda, you're, you're exhibiting... Growth and maturity and what up oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright. So let's uh go mostly eat in the dining hall, I guess. Maybe do some training for Byleth as well. Only one note. 
I've never been very good at arithmetic, but I can see how it would be a great skill to have when negotiating with merchants. How do I make it easier to learn? Uh... Yes. Probably appreciate that. Yep. Alright, so I guess... We're gonna train... Be training Flane and... Isithia. It is so much fun singing with a So suddenly we have things that we can cook that aren't mostly useless. Got a couple of the defense plus one, couple of the speed plus one, couple of the strength plus one. I still don't know that it's actually worth it because all the battles are so easy. So, and since I've only got like the one battle left this week or this month, I think I'm not going to bother. But it's something to keep in mind for next time. Effects are enhanced for Kingdom students. Alright. Oh. Uh... I mean, I guess we can just eat with a bunch of Kingdom students. Why not? Oh, Sylvain has a support with Manuel, of course, so I guess we'll do that. Is... Yeah, you just get it, Professor. This is my favorite. Ash. Marianne. Yeah, sure. Ash and Marianne. This looks delicious. Let's eat. I like this dish. Right, we're gonna do Lorenz and Mercedes. I did not expect much. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? All right, and that. Scythia, Hilda. Not Hilda. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you know that? Yummy. All right, here we go. Ingrid and Raphael. Ingrid has a support with Claude. Oh, interesting. I appreciate any good meal, but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food. This is the. All right, here we go. Felix and Flame. That looks appetizing. This is nearly as All right, so we've gotten conversations or, or meals with all of the Blue Lions characters that are actually recruitable, i.e. not Dimitri and Dudu. I don't really feel like there's much point in doing meals with those two, so I'm just gonna do Ignatz and Lysithia to bring up their motivation. And now do, do just a little bit of Byleth training. Hmm. I'll go ahead and keep doing swords. Maybe S rank will be worth it. 
Practice yield. All right, and we unlock the support conversation with Ash. Professor. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. Rip. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. It sounds a lot more exciting, though, traveling the world from conflict to conflict. But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. I believe you. I can imagine. Oh. I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Uh, Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief. Cut him in half like my prices. Please. That's such a dumb oh, line. No. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. All right, Raphael. That's your big chance. Are you there? We go. There we go. Why does that outfit look ridiculous? Whoa, six yeah, speed! Dang! <laughs> That's actually respectable now. It's not great, but like he might actually be able to do a decent amount of quadding with the lightweight gauntlets. That's cool. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this. I did look into the mastery skills. And so Claude definitely wants to get the Brigand Mastery because that's Death Blow. Likewise, Lorenz really wants to get this one because that is Fiendish Blow. So those are both really valuable skills. Ignatz, on the other hand, this is um, Steel, which is... I think completely irrelevant. <laughs> I can't remember a time when it was worth equipping that, at least in my Black Eagles playthrough. So I'm not expecting that to be relevant. Obviously, going into the story battle, we'll just leave them in the promoted classes. Well, maybe that isn't obvious in Lorenz's case. It's obvious in Claude's case, because he gets a mount. But I guess it's worth looking at um, what... Let's see, he doesn't... 
He loses two magic, one speed, two resistance. Gains fire, d double fire. Um, but this gives him double fire anyway, and then plus five attack, plus the stat boosts. Yeah. Um, oh, I wonder if you get... Oh, you do get bigger skill experience bonuses at higher levels as well. That's interesting. I hadn't actually picked up on that. Okay, well, the point here is that... Um, yeah, I'm going to leave them both in their promoted classes for now, and then, as I did earlier in the game, at some point we'll do some auxiliary battle stuff where I drop them down for just the purposes of that battle, and then get those get those mastery skills. But I'm not going to bother to do it with Ignatz, because it just doesn't matter. Uh, meanwhile, I think... <sighs> hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the pre-battle stuff and then just be ready to go on the mission uh, next episode. We've got to go now. The situation in Ramire Village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> help! Somebody please help! going on here this is unbelievable there's no way to tell who's lost their mind from who's mad with fear if we don't act quickly things are just going to keep getting worse how about we hit him hard enough to knock him out but not hard enough to kill him that's too reckless but uh, I'll admit I can't think of a better option if some must die, just know it was by the will of the goddess. Whoa. Stop that, Marianne. We have to save all of them. There's no way this madness is by the will of the goddess. Nobles are responsible for the safety of the commoners. By the honor of House Gloucester, I swear that I will save them all. Claude, there are some strange-looking people here. So you notice, too. Look. There's a suspicious group hiding amongst the villagers. Could they be the culprits? If so... There you have it. Our objective is clear. Take down that suspicious group and rescue the villagers. Alright, so... As I said, I'm not gonna fight- Oh, look! It's Tomas. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I'm not gonna fight this battle right now, um, but maybe maybe I'll do uh, at least a little bit of planning for it. So as I remember last time, how annoying it was to get these chests. Although I doubt I had anybody. Who had lock touch because I had probably promoted Petra by that point. And she was the only one who went down like the thief line. Oh, Ignatz is an assassin, so he can open them. So that should help. Um so getting him over to them is gonna be pretty annoying. I also remember that a certain friend of ours shows up over here, so we're going to want to have Lysithia over to that side to help deal with that. Um, and then I also remember that Geralt uh, likes to charge at the boss and get himself killed, so that's cool. I 
Yeah, and then we've got this chest up here, which is pretty difficult to get to. In fact, is there any way into this area? I guess you have to go through here. You come up the stairs, go through the forest, go through the wall. Yeah. It's too bad there's no rescue game used with the flyers. Well, certainly we're going to want to put Ignatz over towards this side. And then, um... I mean, we could potentially use warp on him. The problem is... She didn't get... She gets black uses times two, but not white. So she still... Lysithia still only has the one, uh... Warp charge. Yeah. So we can warp Ignatz once, but not twice. Not sure when the right time to do that is going to be. I mean, if we stride or Byleth, we don't get to stride for Claude, which is annoying. We get to stride for everybody else. So that Ignatz has. 11 movement at that point. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I, I, if, if Thief is like, or sorry, if Assassin is like Thief and it was like takes lowered terrain penalties, then he'll be able to get over here in two turns. So probably the way to go is going to be actually to just r run him along and don't even worry about the warp stuff because then he can get through these forests pretty quickly too. So I think that's going to be the approach there. And then, uh... That. I like having Hilda on the outside. She can go over to the right and start clearing that area. Probably want to put. Let's see. Oh, this is actually all clear terrain. So Leone can come up around this way without ever getting boxed in. Okay, that's good. So let's put her over here. Let's actually put her there. We, Ignatz will get plenty far enough in this position as well. Or even oh, back here. Two, three, four, five, six, eleven. Three, four, five, six. I don't know if I can assume that he takes no terrain penalties from all that stuff. So maybe it is better to just do that. I'd like to make sure that he picks up the chest on turn two. And then, what else do we want to do here? Raphael in front makes sense. Maybe a little bit more in the middle. I mean, sorry, Lysithia, because you can easily shoot across the woods. Yeah. All right. I think I'm ready to, to go here, but obviously that'll be next episode when we try to save Ramira Village from some unknown scoundrels. Until then, 